Hi, I'm Johnny Stam of Stam Manufacturing. I'm here to give you an instructional tape on how to operate this brand new HSL 20. This unit is built for New York Transit Authority and this will be how to operate and control the unit so in a safe manner. Okay, if you'll follow through with me, we're going to start off with the operation of how to turn the truck on, how to set it up for operation, and then we'll go through each step on how to operate it and also to put it back into a position to drive away. All right, we're now in the cab of the truck. I'm going to give you some quick instructions and what things mean. We have a master switch over here which controls all the electrical component operations for the lift. This will be turned on. We have a PTO switch here. This PTO will be turned on. Okay, then we also have one other item. To operate the lift gate, you must turn your lights on. That activates power for the lift gate. So no one can operate the lift gate without having access to the headlight switch. So now I'm going to start the truck and go through the process and then we'll go back to the controls and we'll make the operation happen. Power switch on, PTO on, lights are on, this tells you the things are stowed, tells you unstowed. Now we're going to the control panel. Okay, this is our control panel. It's kept in a weather-tight box, fully sealed. Let's start with the control panel. One of the, th this is the engine stop-start switch. I'm just going to go ahead and stop the truck at this moment and now we can restart it. This is also an emergency stop, which I'll also go through that. Should something happen, you just, that also kills the situation. Make sure it's out, restart the engine. This right here is your interlock situation for the outriggers. This is your power up button. This is an e-pump. Let me cut this noise down for one moment. This is your interlock for the outriggers. This is your control for upper controls from the top. And this is your e-pump control. Okay, so every, this is also a backup battery for the e-pump. Should the engine lose its power, you have an e-pump to operate. So we'll go back to starting all over again. We're going to now lower the outriggers. All right, this is your front outrigger. Remember, outriggers are designed to take the loads off the spring capacity. So always apply a load to your outrigger. Now we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. I'll show you to level the truck with the outriggers. And that takes the spring of the truck out of play. So we become solid. We're now lowering the outriggers on this side. Same situation. You'll notice we're going to level the truck. That way we have taken the load off the spring capacity, placed the load to the outriggers. Okay, now we're going to go back to the master control, change it over from outrigger controls to lift controls. Now these are the inner lock for the outriggers. This switch must go up. Now we've added power to the lifts, okay? And we're gonna lift by up. We're gonna take this all the way up at least give you an idea of the time, speed. This is the electric switch that operates. 
I'm going to have the cameraman spin around. I'm going to stop here one second. He's going to turn a little bit and follow me around because this is a manual one to lift. Okay? Should something happen with the electric, you can override with this. You can also come down with this. I'll go back to the master box now. This is still up. You'll notice all the wires are sealed. No moisture, nothing to get inside the box. It's a weatherproof box. You'll notice that we're almost to the top here. All right. Now, to operate this unit from up top, there is a switch panel that looks like this. It'll have engine stop start, have emergency stop, have up, have down. And you activate that up on the floor of the truck as you flip that up. Now we have joined the power from the top with the power at the bottom, so it'll operate up and down from either end. Now at this moment, I'm going to operate the lift gate for you. Now remember, in the first part of this, I told you you had to have the light switch on to operate the lift gate. We're going to put that on now. Don't tell me I locked myself out. Excuse me, as a matter of fact, you might want to watch this because evidently my arm was on the door lock and we locked ourselves out. Okay. We've turned the light switch on. We're going to go back and operate the lift gate. All right, here we are at the lift gate. Lights are on. Gate comes down. And I recommend you lower the gate all the way to the ground because it makes the flipping of the platforms a lot easier. Other than that, boy, it's a strain to do it. So let's follow this all the way through. Also, grease fittings are in locations. They need to be greased periodically. How often do I tell you to grease them? I say once a month to do a grease job for using the gate all the time. But you're going to have to make that decision when it gets a little tight to unload. This falls back, stand back. Now there's a little trip lever right here. This trip lever allows the rest of it to come out. Quite noisy, but oh, it's there. That's your lift gate operation. I'm going to put it away. Now this is something I'll do. Usually about this position, I'll stop the gate so I don't have to bend over so far. Fold the first part over. And I'll do the same thing again. That, my friends, is your lift gate. We're going to show you a couple other items. Your spring-loaded catches for the gates, they swing all the way around and they hitch right here. I'm going to fold the outriggers back up. I sometimes get fancy and do them both at the same time when you're raising them because you don't have to level anything. Just call them home.
We're going to go to the other side and we're going to fold everything up, put the truck back in a driving condition. Again, the two outriggers, and I just push them both together, kind of lean on them. That kind of just brings them up. One in front of the other, doesn't matter. We're folding up to go away. Now we're going to continue. Now everything's back in a normal position. So if I want to operate the lift or anything, I can't operate it right now until the outri outriggers are down. So that stays closed. Up, down, everything's in good shape. We're going to go. Reverse the procedure. Off goes the PTO. That red light, when it's on, tells you the PTO is on. The yellow light, when it's on, will tell you the truck is, the body is not stowed. So if that yellow light's on when you get ready to drive away, something is not stowed away. Lights back off. Key off, power switch off. Key out of the truck. Now you have safely operated the lift. If there's any questions you don't understand, please call 1-800-226-5056 and you can speak to me or Mike Newsom. We'll give you any other information you might need on operating this lift. And we look to have a long service relationship with you. Enjoy the lift and thank you very much.